Hey guys, it's John the Vintage Geek. We're back inside my toy room. And today, I know someone in the comments a while ago was asking about if that was Sheridan in the background. And I'm guessing they meant John Sheridan of Babylon 5. So I decided to show off a little bit of my Babylon 5 collection here. I don't have every single character, but I've got quite a, quite a few. And, um... I got Sheridan and Jakar signed by J. Michael Straczynski. But today we're taking a look, and we're going to open these up, guys. We're going to open up vintage 90s. Not vintage 80s, vintage 90s. We need a new, we need a new category for the 90s. We, we can't call these vintage as well. Kenner. This is when Kenner was owned by Hasbro, 1997. We have Yak Face here. Yes, it is the infamous Yak Face. Now, I got one of these that's perfectly mint in my little box of, of figures that I'm keeping packaged. And uh, I want to open this one up and put it in my Jabba the Hutt Palace display because there's no Yak Face in that display. And then I have the Duros. I don't know what his name is. Allure's Matic. Yeah. He was apparently a fan choice figure. This time it actually says Hasbro on the packaging. This is from 2000. So I don't think something from 2000 is considered vintage yet, right? That's not crossing over that vintage line yet? I don't know. Is this vintage? Who knows? From the Phantom Menace to A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Shouldn't that just say from the Phantom Menace to Return of the Jedi? I mean, come on. We got a force file thing packet. It's got like eight pages. I'm going to check that out. This Darth Maul looks cool. You know. So does the squid head guy here. That looks cool. And the stormtrooper's not bad either. Why couldn't I find them in the $3 bin? <laughs> yeah, these figures that we were at Porky's, a, a comic and toy show put on by Porky's. I want to put the Doros in my cantina set here. So the, you know, I got this nice Mos Eisley shelf and I want to put the Doros in here somewhere. But yeah, we were at Porky's Comics. They put on a toy and comic show at a local Dave & Buster's in the back room where the Dave & Buster's, I guess it's a party room or something you can rent out to have a birthday party or something. And they had maybe 30, 25 or 30 tables in there. If you haven't seen the video, there is a video that was put up yesterday about the, the show. You can get an idea. And they had these boxes and bins all over the place that were just like, packaged action figures three for ten dollars and i bought so many of them I, I it's like i was just i went to town just found all kinds of cool stuff and i found out that this little thing is in a plastic tray so you can just slit the top and slide it out <clears throat> and then you can put it back in there when you're done reading it so that's kind of cool just just slide it right back in when you're done reading it and keep that card back intact so the Doros he's got a twisty head he's got movable arms and he's got a waist twist so he's not just straight 5 POA his legs move he's actually 6 POA his gun the rubber band holding his gun in his hand was completely deteriorated as soon as I touched it, it just kind of fell apart but fortunately the gun fits very well in the holster that's on his leg so that's pretty cool and here is Yakface Salt Marie, I think his name is for real. He's got the waist twist also. Head move, arms move, and legs move. No other twists in the arms or legs. So he is also a 6 POA action figure. I really like the uh, separate piece that this waistcoat is. I don't know what you call it. It's kind of some kind of coat, cape, whatever. Pretty cool. And now let's look at the thing. It's got statistics. It's got adventures. He went on the Cantina Conspiracy. He got lost in hyperspace. He's got skills, man. He's got piloting and navigation. 
Plus, there's this thing to join and get free magazine or whatever. He's got gear, which at first glance I thought those fusion generator supply tanks were a plate full of biscuits. But no, those are fusion generator supply tanks. Blaster pistol, polarity check prong. He's got an R4 astromech droid as his tech and a capital YV class freighter. And yeah, there's the Jedi thingy. He's got allies and enemies, so it seems like he aligns himself more with the Rebellion. And Aloris Matic, he's just got this little stats thing. He's a natural wanderer who's at home wherever his travels take him. Yeah. Pretty neat little insert. That's that's just gives you extra info and just makes the character more alive, you know? We'll do a standard 360 rotate here, and he won't fall over. If you saw the Marvel 3-pack, you were seeing how much trouble every character was falling over. <laughs> this, is, this was funny. It was hilarious. Yeah, there's a giant hippo in the background. You gotta have a figure of the rock, and that was a $3 clearance at Walmart. And I was like, you can't, you, everyone needs a figure of the rock. And you could choose the rock with a rhino, the rock with a elephant, or the rock with a hippo. And I, in video game world, I'm known as the hippo lord, so I had to get the hippo, of course. Yak face, Sal Marie, 360 here. And, uh, yeah, there was a petition for World of Warcraft for a while to get a rideable hippo as a mount for my character. They were really begging the company to make it for me because my guild was nuts. <laughs> AMO guild. Yay! Anticus Mortis Ortis was our Latin AMO. In, it was a Latin name. And for our World of Warcraft guild. So I'm going to put Yak Face in here somewhere. I think he's going to go over here on this side. Because the part with Jabba is pretty packed. There's a nice space right here. He could go here. Look pretty good. Maybe we'll move him over a couple of centimeters here. Hold on. Let's see. He's got a... I want to be able to see, yeah, there you go, everyone who's behind him. Nice! Yak Face is now in the Jabba display. Yeah, I have one of the old cards. And now we got to put the Duros in the cantina scene here. I love my Walrus Man Hammerhead. I got a lot of extra guys you'll notice in there just for flavor. People are coming from all over the galaxy, even characters that weren't in Star Wars, but were in other movies. You know, at one point they visited the most Eisley Cantina, and that's why they're here hanging around. You know, they, they get around. People have starships. And by some weird accident, yes, um, Sulu and Spock showed up in the Star Wars universe. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Well, the rest of your weekend, right? We have tomorrow off. Do you guys all have tomorrow off? Monday? Is that like a... It's not a world holiday. It's just a United States holiday, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps. I appreciate it. If you haven't already. I mean, most of you already are subscribed, right? Yeah, right, right. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!